welcome to my another tutorial and uh, in this tutorial what we are going to do is uh, we are going to learn about something which is very interesting we are going to convert a website or a blog to an android application so let's see how it will work and uh, how can we do this and one more thing i'll try to upload this code on github also so that uh, you can take any help from uh, that side of that site also and uh, we will keep updating this project uh, as per the time so let's get started so what we will do we will start with a new project and uh, we will start from here and we will name it as web app it will be cool so if you are not aware of these uh, steps then you can check my previous videos but uh, I don't think so that uh, uh, you have to be uh, watch those videos for this tutorial so you can uh, start with an empty activity from here I'll call it as main activity and this is how it will go so after this uh, tutorial what I will try I will try to make a tutorial on browser also I mean how can you make your own browser like uh, you have chrome uc browser like that and uh, one more thing i want to make is for music player i got uh, many requests that uh, it would be great if i make a tutorial on a music player because everyone loves a new music player every day so i'll try to uh, make a tutorial on that too and uh, so this is how we will start and one thing uh, I want to make sure that uh, please follow all these tutorials so that you can make uh, your application much more interesting I am just starting with a basic one uh, you can use uh, other tutorials also to make it more uh, materialized because what I will suggest is that uh, we have to work on material designs because this is the future and uh, we uh, uh, all the applications you can see which have material designs are looking really interesting and uh, UI design is awesome so what we will do so first of all we have to uh, go to our layout class so what we are going to do there are two things to make an application which will be web based so first of all that uh, everything which uh, is available on your website you can do the same things in your application on the native level and uh, the other thing is that uh, you can show your website in your application as a web as a web content so what we call it we call it as a web view so we will work on web view first and then we will uh, think that uh, how can we modify it and how can we make it more better so let's start with a web view first we will select a web view from here before that what i will do i will remove these paddings i'll search for a web view here and uh, here is my web view i will search for it so here is my web view i will drag and drop here and i will make it match parent so it is match parent it is center horizontal and this looks pretty cool what i will do i'll give it a margin also i don't need here because i don't have any uh, you can say explicit toolbar we have the default action bar so now we have a, a web view i will give a id to it so an id would be great because uh, we want to identify it as a uh, resource in our application so what i will give um, web view so this will be my id and uh, then i will go to my java class what i will do i will declare a web view here first of all so uh, one more thing uh, like uh, there is a part of declaration then you give reference to that particular view i will give you a shortcut for this also uh, by using a library which is very good so we will uh, go to that thing also so first of all what i will do 
I will declare a web view here. I'll give the reference to that web view. This is how I will give reference. Okay, so I gave the reference to this web view. Now what I will do, uh, I have to um, make three things. First of all, I have to make this uh, Java enabled, JavaScript enabled basically. And the second thing, I have to give a load URL which will be uh, loading on the first time. So, so what we will do, we will call its a setting function first. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll declare here web settings, and I will give the name web setting, and then I will <coughs> call my web view here and dot its get settings method so what will happen i will get the gets uh, settings here and by those settings i can uh, basically set the javascript enabled to true so this is how it will work and uh, one more thing i have to uh, do is i have to uh, set its client which will be my web view client so that web view client and I will give it new one second new web view client so this is how it will work and uh, another thing is I'm gonna do is I will give it the load URL so suppose my website is something like www dot google dot com so here I will paste that particular URL which I want to show so this is how it will work now I'm going to uh, run this application and we'll see but before that one more thing which we left is uh, we have to give some permission to it so what we will give we will give it internet permission because without internet permission you can't get access to the internet so this permission is compulsory without this this application will not work so now what we are going to do we are just going to run this application we will select our uh, virtual device from here and this will start So this is how it will work we started our application and this is how it will load your uh, that particular URL in the web view form so suppose I am going to give it YouTube and if I click on this and now I want to get back to that particular um, which was the previous page then I will press the back button and you can see that my application got uh, away from uh, that particular screen so what I have to do is I have to make some changes here what I will do I have to check that what will happen if I will back press so this how you will do this so you will go to yeah uh, go to generate override methods and search for on back pressed So this you can see, right? So what you have to do is uh, you have to check here, and what you have to check, um, you have to check if your web view dot can go back. Then you have to web view dot. go back okay else you can do is else you can do the uh, whatever it wants to do so we will run our application again and we'll check 
this time what's going to happen so what you can do you can give any URL here and it will load that particular website or or that particular link whatever it is whether it is blog website or anything so I press this I go to YouTube then I when I press back yeah it's working great now so I hope you are liking this these tutorials and uh, I will make some more changes in our next tutorial and to uh, will try to make it more better and more uh, you know I want here something like a loading bar and many more things so this is the basic tutorial and you can make or convert your website right now so go for it thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends thanks again and bye bye